Hi, I am Shanice Goodman. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Shanice, also completely Shan. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button to become an official goodie and official member of the good gang to stay up to date with all my videos. All you gotta do is hit that bell to stay notified. So yeah, let's get straight on into the video. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna try to make this a really, really quick video because I literally have 20 minutes to get out of the house with Probably like a 15 minute grace period, but I don't I really don't want to be late today, so so recently I feel like I start all my videos like that. So recently <laughs> um I recently connected with my friend uh probably a couple months yeah, a couple months ago and it's so funny, right? Like, when I wanted to start my last business, he was there, like, cheering me on. And then, like, we kind of, we had a, a disagreement. We didn't speak for, like, a couple, I don't, I don't remember if it was months or years, but we weren't as close as we were. I feel like I'm going to be editing this and be like, Shanice, this has nothing to do with where is that going to go. Anyways, but... Um, I've been saying that I wanted to start this business and lo and behold, I've, I've been scared actually to just like try, try things and whatever. And I told him and he's like, I told, I think I told him exactly, you know, I want to start this, but I don't know how to do it. And he goes, well, what do you mean you don't know how to do it? It's so simple. Like, order the thing and do it. Like, well, <laughs> because he, he's in it. Like, he does business. Like, he's a risk taker. I know you guys watch my channel. I'll probably be like, she needs to be a risk taker too. But I, I am. But I get very hesitant at first. And it'll take me a long time to, not a long time, but it'll take me a while to really push myself. And especially depending on what it is. So, he, he um, really pushed me, well, helped me with advice and whatever to start. And the reason I gave you guys that little mini story was because um, I was talking to him the other day, and I, I don't know if I will insert the voice note, but... I like, legit broke down because I was telling him, you know what, I am just so frustrated. I feel like I've been, I'm just living the same year over and over and over again. I go to work and I feel like I'm just wasting my time. Because it's like, you know, this is not what I've been put on this earth to do. This is not what I'm passionate about. Don't get me wrong. I love the job that I have now. I do, I really enjoy working with the people that I work with for the most part. Like, I think that this is the most fun job I, I've had in a while. But I just know that I want more for myself. So, as you guys can see by the title, today we're going to talk about what to do when you're feeling stagnant. And these are not just tips for you guys. These are tips for me as well. Because in a couple months, or however long it'll take me, I know I'm going to be feeling stagnant again because that's just me. I'm always, always reaching for higher heights. So stagnations comes like, like this for me. Like if, I, if I don't switch it up regularly, I start to feel stagnant and I get very, very, very frustrated with myself. So yeah, so this is to help you and also to help me so I can look back and... I, you know, kind of get motivated. So, and I want my OG subscribers to know that this is for you all. Y'all been rocking with me since I started with makeup tutorials. So I decided to not just make this a chit chat, but also to make it a get ready with me so you guys can see me doing my makeup. Because I know that's why some of you subscribed to me in the first place because of makeup. So here we are, baby girl, we are. We're here again. 
yeah so what let's let's define stagnation to, to me stagnation or being stagnant is when you feel like you're stuck basically in the simplest of simplest terms is when you feel stuck when you feel like you are in neutral if you listen to dreams and drive podcast which i talked about in my last um video what is this i don't need that um it's basically where you just feel stuck and you feel like you're not going anywhere so Normally, when I start to feel stagnant, I also get very dejected and hopeless. I don't know, it sounds so depressing. I just looked at my curtain rod and it's so bent. Wow. I know it sounds so depressing, but let's face it, we all go through these things. We all go through these things, and the sooner we can pull ourselves out of it, the better. So, the first thing you can do when you're feeling stagnant dejected and hopeless if that's how you feel all at once is to remember why you started and when i say remember why you started like what what drove you to it why why do you want this goal that you want if you watch my last video which i will link in the cards and in the description um you heard me say when well i'm using the morphe 35o palette for those of you who care i went in with this shade first and now i'm gonna go with this shade just to brighten up my brow bone and yeah so you heard me say i i believe i strongly believe that when we have a dream a goal when we have our aspirations uh i feel as though god put them in our hearts to you know, make the world a better place or to teach somebody something. And for me, you shouldn't give up on your dreams and you shouldn't give up on God, on the universe, whoever you believe in, whatever you believe in, you should not give up on that because I believe if it's in your heart, it's there for a reason. Like, it can only make you better and make the people who experience your service, your talent, whatever it is that you're bringing better. So, no. So you shouldn't give up on your dream or or your goal, whatever it be. Just remember why you started. Yeah. Uh, another reason, like for me right now in the conversation that I had with my friend, um, when I was saying, you know, I feel so stagnant at work or whatever, he he was like, Shanice, I know, I know that's how you feel or whatever, but think of it this way, like you're going to work it's like a trade-off you're going to work so that you can fund your dream exactly uh, i know this but it's just like i told you guys when i when i get when i don't switch it up like i all i get i get those feelings of stagnations and i feel dejected and hopeless but i know this so like for example, one of my goals last year was to go to VidCon because, as you guys see, I do YouTube. I want to make this a career. I, as you guys know, I said before, I want to experience LA and California, and I did that. I made it a, a goal that I achieved last year. So, yeah. Just remember where you started. Remember where you started. It's going to make you happy. It's going to benefit the people that experience it. And God put it there in your heart for a reason. Tip number two is get inspired, honey. Now, if you know me, if you watch my videos, you know that I am a big Lily Singh fan. I love Lily. If you guys watch my comedy stuff, you will see that like, some of it is inspired by her type of content. So I am a huge Lily Singh fan. And she literally in an interview said she schedules inspiration. 
Girl, schedule inspiration. What? What are you talking about? Schedule inspiration. So, like, I had this conversation with my friend. I think it was, was it was Friday? Yes. It was Friday. And the next time I, well, not the next time. Actually, the same time. Like, while I was talking to him, like, I was just venting because I was frustrated. But in that time, he was telling me about people who, you know, been doing it for years. I mean, social media or just creating in general. And they didn't make it anywhere until, like, 10 years after. Specifically speaking of Big Shaq or Michael. Oh, my God. I can't remember his name. I'll put it on the screen. Michael, I don't want to butcher it, but he was doing it for years and whatever. So in saying that, um, that's how you can get inspired. Yeah, that's how you can get inspired. Watch people who do the things that you want to do or who are where you want to be in life. So after that conversation with him, I got on YouTube and I searched this guy and uh, the Breakfast Club interview came up for him. So I watched that. I got really inspired. As I said, I like Lily Singh. I watched Lily. Lily is doing it so big. Like, I, I can't wait to work with her one these days. I'm not going to say I would love to work with her because it's going to happen. Like I want it to happen, so I have to speak it into existence. Like... Then just vloggers in general who, you know, have a big influence, who are, you know, playing in movies, doing things that I want to do. I watch those people and then I create content to to get myself to that point. So, yes, yeah, schedule inspiration, but also work on your dreams. So that was tip number two, get inspired, honey. So tip number three, leaving off from where I just said... Yes, you have to get inspired, but then you also have to take action on your dream. So don't just get inspired and be like, oh my God, yes, it's coming. I can feel it in my bones, but I'm not doing anything because I know because I want it, it's just going to come to me. No, girl, you, you literally have to work on it. Work on it. So as I said, I watch people who are where I want to be. And then I, I get inspired and learn from them. I may create a piece that's similar or that's inspired by them. And what I want you guys to take from this, I know this word is thrown around on YouTube so much, especially if you are a startup YouTuber, you're looking to grow your following and whatever, whatever, consistency. I want you guys to keep at it. Like, consistency is key. I've been watching Derek Jackson and he he basically talks about relationships and stuff like that. And in a video I was watching, he was saying ladies, you you guys need to know, well, we need to know the difference between being consistent and being persistent because persistence Consistency is like persistence with patience. Persistence, you're going at hit, going at hit, going at hit. Like, it's like you keep poking, poking, poking. But with consistency, you're doing it over time, over time, over time, over time, all the time. But you're waiting for your moment. So persistence, I feel like persistence eventually will give up. But consistency, you just write it out until you get to where you you want so that's tip number three be consistent or keep at it yeah okay we almost done i want you guys to comment below and let me know what stage you're at what stage you pass are you at the stage where you have to be a little bit more consistent let me know in the comments below what stage you're at. Number four, tip number four is 
try different things. So when I say try different things, I mean try different avenues. If it is that you, I don't know why this pops into my head. Maybe somebody needs to hear it if you want to be an architect. And I literally have no knowledge on architect, so I don't know. But if you want to be an architect and nobody wants to give you, nobody wants to pay you for your work, being that you are a start out somebody, what you can do, offer your services for free. And that's not to say, you know, cheat yourself or whatever. You guys know I love lashes. So listen, I love me some lashes, girl. But try different things. If you realize one method is not working, try another method. Tip number five. I don't know why, but this is blank. So I'm going to need to think about this, what I really, really want to put here. So just hang on two seconds while I do my lashes. Okay, now that those are on, tip number five. You guys know I say this in like all of my videos. Tip number five is positive self-talk or affirmations so I know you guys who watched my last video and who've been watching me you guys already know what I'm gonna say with this but for my newer viewers I want you guys when you're feeling stagnant talk to yourself I'm sorry. Oh. So the lip combo that I'm gonna do today is a really, really fun lip combo. This is Prune by NYX and Laylock Love by All Me. So yeah, so tip number five is positive self-talk or positive affirmations. I feel like that's redundant because affirmations are positive, so just affirmations. But yeah, when you are feeling stagnant, just write your, write your goals down. For me, I do have my goals written down. And then my affirmations pop up as reminders in my phone. So throughout the day, it'll tell me I have sold this piece at this amount. I sell this. I make that. And get specific. So if you work in... And if you work in retail and you say you work in the Louis Vuitton store and today you want to sell a certain bag, have affirmations in your phone telling yourself, uh, well, today on Monday, March, whoops, Monday, April 1st, I sold Louis Vuitton Never Full at XX price and I made this amount of commission on it. Get specific with your goals, get specific with your affirmations. And I've been watching a lot of Steve Harvey. I've been loving Steve Harvey for a while now. He always says, if you don't write it down, it won't happen. So write your goals down and keep your goals in the back of your mind. Always talk to yourself. Watch how you're talking about yourself and watch how you're talking to yourself. You are the best person you will ever meet. So be nice to you and act like you love you, okay? So get in the mirror, remind yourself of your goals, and remind yourself that they are coming. 
and whenever you're feeling dejected and stuff I would just want you guys to come back to this video and remind yourself like hey this this too shall pass okay this will pass this is just this is just basically the universe telling me I need to do something different to level up and you can watch my video how to level up right here so yeah, that's, those are my five tips for when you are feeling stagnant or hopeless or dejected. Let's just go over them one more time. So tip number one is remember what you started. Remember what you wanted. Tip number two is get inspired. Schedule some inspiration, girl. Like, don't let that feeling... Don't succumb to that feeling. Schedule some inspiration. Tip number three is keep at it or stay consistent. Tip number four is try new things. Try, try different avenues. If one thing doesn't work, try a different way. If you fail 99 times, you know that those 99 times won't work. Try, try again. And that number 100 time, that may be the time that works for you. So don't give up. Don't give up. Just keep, keep at it. Keep consistent. It has to work. It has to work. If you really, really want something, it has to work. God helps those who help themselves. So just just you keep at it, okay? You keep at it. So yeah, so those were the five tips. And of course, tip number five was my code that I live by, positive affirmations. So yeah, comment below and let me know what stage you're at, which ones you want to get better at and which ones you have recently tried that are working and yeah i will definitely definitely see you guys in my next video check out my last video right here a playlist of all my recent videos or girl chat videos right here for some inspiration subscribe to me by clicking my face follow me on all socials i'm really active on facebook and instagram and yeah let's connect over there and i'll definitely see you guys in my next one bye